what's going on virgo and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys this is going to be your february 2020 reading so let's see what's going on with you now guys this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus signs so keep that in mind and the energy could always be transferable so it could be something that you guys are going through i can be picking up on something that's happening around you so let's see what is going on for my virgos february 2020 Let's make sure this is good and shuffled. The Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles dropped out. So maybe you're realizing that you are more self-sufficient by actually letting something go, by rejecting it, um, or just by not relying on something else, okay? And that you're able to manifest something on your own, even if it seems like you're coming from a place of lack. All right. All right, guys. So let's split this. Just move all these cords out of the way. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so the energy that you have here is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So there's definitely something new that's coming in. And not only is this something new um, or the continuation of something, this is something that's going to last for a while in your life. This is something that's built slowly, but it has longevity, you know, behind it. Now, you're starting this new thing, but I feel that you guys are going towards it slowly. You're trying to find balance. You're trying to get out of your head about something, all right like you know you have to move past something and there's something that that can really make you guys happy but maybe you're hesitant to take it okay because of something that was not meant to be in your life something that could be again just holding you back mentally so the first card that you guys have for the past is the judgment card this talks about you know a decision that you're going to make that is final really seeing whether something is truly good for you or bad for you okay so let's see why this is showing up We have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And the King of Swords in the reverse. So very interesting. There's a situation where I feel like everything was very, very tense. Maybe someone had a high wall up against you. Maybe you had a high wall up against someone else. But like with this energy together, these are both very problematic cards when they come out like this. Um, you know, someone that could be prone to making situations worse than what they truly are or what they need to be. Um, there could be someone who's abusive in this mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally. But this could also be just someone having been pushed to such an extreme that they have to really protect themselves at the same extremity. Okay. But there's definitely some sort of bullet that you guys dodge. Now, if there was something from the past trying to come back in, whether you were trying to come back in or something from your past was trying to come back into your life, I just don't see it as a good idea, all right? The devil's coming out, so something that just would have been detrimental for you, all right? So the next card you guys have for the past is a five of swords in the reverse. So with this decision that you made, you're now avoiding conflict at all costs. You're not going to, it's like you didn't want to take that path. You didn't want to go towards anything that would have just been that problematic for you. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And Strength card in the reverse. So you're avoiding a lot of conflict, but it's like you feel debilitated or maybe someone around you does because something is just not being reciprocated anymore. Someone's just kind of cutting something off. There's an imbalance of some sort. Okay. Uh, this could be a situation where a lot of money was lost. This could be when someone's genuinely just not invested in something or someone who just feels tired because they kept trying to get something off the ground. For some of you, you could have been trying to really keep something that you didn't even like. I know that's a weird concept, but maybe it's like a job or something that you hate, but you know it's paying the bills, all right? But there's definitely something reckless in all of this. Maybe you did something reckless. Maybe someone around you did something reckless. So why is this here for the past? Six of Swords in the reverse. 
and you have the two of wands. So there's a lot of reckless, you know, energy here. Someone's doing something without not thinking. And it's like you're letting go of something that I do find you guys to be very passionate about. But it's just not a good idea. There's something about this, you know, I'm like spitting over here. But there's something about this that just can't be trusted. All right. For some of you, maybe you were dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius and all of this. But yeah, definitely something that you lost faith in where there's just too much burden. You had to release that. All right. Now, in the present moment, the first card that you guys have is the Ace of Swords. So this is a great card because, yes, it shows a new beginning that comes in. But specifically, this is saying that, again, you have to cut out something that was very conflicting, something that was just seen as bullshit. Why is this Ace of Swords here? We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So whether it's you or someone around you guys, someone's really upset that this isn't working out they're upset about what they have to cut out you could also be in a place where although there's like different paths that are available to you you might be reluctant to taking it maybe you're just not excited about anything new right now because you're still just trying to grieve something that you're getting over so you know with the next card we have here is the three of pentacles in the verse this is your central energy so this is what everything's going to be tapping into for this reading that core energy here so there's just something that wasn't, you know, working in a feasible way for you. Maybe you weren't seeing eye to eye with someone. Maybe there's uh, something in business that was supposed to make you money, but it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, this could just be a partnership falling out. For some people, this could be a relationship or a marriage falling out. All right, so let's see why this is here. Seven of Pentacles. Spirit is saying to wait, to take a moment, breathe, be patient, all right, because you guys have something right around the corner here. So yes, something isn't working out, but Spirit is just really telling you to be at ease. This is, you know, the ultimate card of happiness in tarot. This is where you're feeling very good, you know, um, your, your home life feels stable, and you're realizing a lot, you're realizing that something you know wasn't going to work out and you're having an you know it's like an unstable transition that you could be feeling but and i say this with love virgo there's a sense of hard-headedness here because deep down you know that something was supposed to be let go of but you're really just kind of stuck on that you guys dodged a bullet with whatever didn't work out you definitely dodged a bullet but there's a need to really know that and be able to forgive yourself for that okay for whatever this was now, the last card that we have for the present moment is the King of Wands in the reverse. This could be an overbearing boss, someone who's always like yelling and just like, you know, in your personal bubble, but they're not, um, they're not good leaders in the sense where they're kind of barking orders instead of the type to roll their sleeves up and do some of the work themselves. Um, this could be a cheater in love. This could be someone that can't be trusted, someone who's jealous, someone who maybe wants to take their authority and abuse it, Okay. Or just have authority for the wrong reasons. Wanting to be in charge for all the wrong reasons. Why is this King of Wands in the reverse here? Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords. So, especially if this has to do with love, I feel like someone could be worried about something that's being done in secret. Um... Maybe someone's worried that their partner's secretly seeing someone else, or you're just worried that someone is secretly seeing somebody else. Um, but there's definitely something that can't be trusted here. Secret's something that just causes a lot of anxiety. Let me pull one more card for this. Four of Pentacles in the verse. Whatever this is, guys, you need to be reserved about it. And so that'll be easy. Like, whatever's causing you to lose sleep at night, or whatever you're constantly in your head about, and you know it's just not healthy to be in your head about it all the time, um, it's just something you really have to guard yourself from and stand your ground with it because although there's burden that you're feeling over a situation that just was forced at this point something is going to happen really quickly for you guys for some this could have to do with travel um, maybe you're physically moving jobs maybe you're physically moving where you live maybe you're going on some sort of vacation but again something comes in quick but you guys are still stuck on the past but there's a huge change here Right now, you're in a place where you're realizing that something would have just really thrown you off had you uh, still stayed around it, okay? Now, moving forward into the future, we have the Five of Cups. 
Now, keep in mind, guys, yes, this is a card where there could be loss or sadness that's felt. Oh, it matches my eyeshadow. How, per <laughs> how pretty. But um, with this card, guys, the, the reason why a person could feel so distraught here is because they're focusing on everything that they lost. They're not realizing that they have so much going on for themselves and that um, there's a lot available to them. So you don't want to just, you know, pay attention to this build milk. Page of Cups in the reverse. So someone sad about an offer that didn't come through, a loss of some sort, something that was really toxic for you guys, where, especially if this is a person, I don't even feel like there's communication with this person at this point, um, but you're still stuck, okay? Um, there's something where you're cutting something off or there's no communication, there's a huge loss fell over it, and it's just, it's not something that could be trusted, guys. I, I just don't see it as genuine, okay? Even if it was something that you were entertaining, there's an energy here, especially with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, where someone is just not genuinely uh, interested in something. So that's why it's not working. All right. But on the flip side, guys, you have the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, you're grieving something or you're grieving through something, but you have a lot of happiness available to you. You have a lot of good feels here. We have the death card, a change that makes you guys very happy. Um, something drastic in your life that is really good for you. All right, five of pentacles in the verse. So Virgo, um, whatever it was that made you feel like you were lacking, that you were at a loss for something, uh, where maybe you felt like you didn't have enough money, maybe you felt as if you were lonely, whatever. Anything where you were lacking, that completely subsides. And there's a huge change that now it's pouring into that cup that you felt was empty. And for a lot of you, it's going to be a soulmate. It's going to be love. It could be a good friend that you meet. It could be you falling into your life purpose. This could be you, just something happening where you have an epiphany that you really love yourself. Why is this two of cups here? Eight of cups in the reverse. And you have the eight of swords. So, guys, this is interesting because you get into something that your soul really wants for you. But right when you get into something strong, the past comes knocking. And now you feel stuck and you don't know what to do. And Spirit is saying, look, you've already been through the worst and you know it's not for you. It's time to close this out. Okay? Because your soul knows that this is a situation that can no longer be trusted. It's just not going to go the way that you expect. All right? Um... For those of you where this resonates with love, if it's an ex coming back for you or someone from the past coming back for you, they're seeing somebody else. Or they could be coming back because they see you seeing somebody else. But I don't see any sort of genuine offers. I don't see anything healthy here. Um, I see someone being terrified because they see you being extremely happy and they don't know how to deal with that. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get some cards of advice here. what I had on this before, but I need to wipe this down. Kidding, I was rolling a blunt. All right, let's see what's going on. What is the advice for Virgos? Okay, so the magician popped out and we have the high priestess. That could be knowing in your heart and soul that there's something worth manifesting right now and you have every power within yourself to get this ball rolling, okay? The Hermit card in the reverse. Temperance card in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay. You guys really need to stand your ground with ending a situation that's very conflicting for you where there could be a lot of arguing now with the emperor the this person they're not always going to make the decision that's easiest they're going to make the decision that just needs to be made okay although this change could cause a lot of you know turmoil whether it's through arguing or just what you feel within yourself it brings a very solid chapter guys where it's like you feel like you won the lottery on life it brings in a lot of healing um, and it brings a lot of amazing changes uh, I see past life connections for a lot of you. you guys have immense love coming in something that you strongly desire 
But with what you strongly desire, I'll get that card in a moment. With what you strongly desire, you're going to hear shit for it. Someone's not going to be happy that you're happy. Okay, one second, guys. Ah, okay. Okay, so let's see here. My pants are like stuck on this. Here we go. All right. So why are these cards here? We have the Six of Swords. So you guys are manifesting something at a time where you're healing and you know deep in your heart that it was just time to release something. Um, there was something in your life that it was just all illusion. You never had all the facts on it. Your soul didn't want it for you. Your soul is uneasy with it and your soul is ready to release it. Okay, and that's what's going to bring you balance. But once you guys make that decision that initially will make you feel unhappy, you guys have something strong coming in, some strong passion, some strong love. Just get over the initial loss. All right, this chapter really wants to come in strongly for you guys. Your reading last month was powerful as well, the two that you guys had. Um, you guys have some sort of offer, whether it be with money or love, and look what it does. Nine of Swords in the reverse, all your worrying goes to the side. You're, you're not, you know... You're not dealing with bullshit anymore, but again, somebody is going to be very angry about some sort of offer that you accept or something that you're building, okay? Um, and whoever it is that tries to intervene with this, I feel like it's a very selfish thing. And something I always tell myself, guys, if you're genuinely doing something that makes you happy and someone is truly against it, you have to put that into consideration because even when it comes to like love and things like that, um, I feel like the healthiest mindset to have is that if you truly love a person or if you truly, you know, want good for people, you have to be okay with what's truly good for them. And sometimes that, you know, that's not you. And so it, there's just a sense of needing to have that maturity in this situation um, and being able to think that way. So if you're truly, genuinely happy and someone has an issue with that or some, you know, whether it be a boss, a parent, you know, uh, ex-love or whatever. Is that truly healthy? Do you truly want that? Okay. I love you guys so much. Now, if you guys want to follow me on social media, my uh, Instagram, my personal one is High Vibrations 44 My tarot Instagram is High Vibrations Tarot. And you can find me on Twitter, Bruja Shit. All right. So if you guys need any of that, the description or it's in the description below. And my website is below if you guys need a personal reading. Take care.